We're back, and just like that, we're on to the next topic with... Creator. Creator. Business different since C19. Business is just totally different. Yeah. I mean, I have, y'all, have y'all been in the, the restaurants, the hospitals, uh, the malls, in a merchandise store? I mean, the, the service, the customers, every, everything mm-hmm. is, is, is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's just... Uh, it's kind of a lot of chaos too going on. It is. I think what what the Demic did was it yeah. took the social um, the aspect. Like you know, people used to walk up to you in the streets and talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you used to be able to see somebody in the store and you sit down next to them and talk to them. Yeah. But now it's more of I don't want to get sick. I don't know what you got. So have you noticed that since that since C19, a lot of places that were open 24 hours. I had right. later business hours. They start closing early. Walmart used to be 24 hours. Yeah. Post post C19, if, when C19 was going on, they were closing at 7.30, 8 o'clock. Now they close at 11. Once upon a time, Walmarts were 24, 24 hours. 24 hours. So yeah. that's one major change. That's about money. Though. I saw. It's, yeah. That's about them saving money. That's why yeah. they opened up more of those automated registers. They ain't got no cashiers no more. Mm-mm. Like... That's it. I can say before the demic service was going down. When the demic hit and afterwards, downhill. I'm talking about downhill hill. A straight disaster. Um shortage shortage of staff. Um, like you said, the hospitality, like uh mm-hmm. what you want? Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not, you know, how, how can I help you? You know, you have a lot of businesses now. You have kids in there working. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Unexperienced. Right. Unexperienced. But right. Man, we it was kids working. We were coming up, bro. But the yeah. kids had enough respect, at least at least for the adults, to not be in the back cussing and 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 doing all this in the back like they're not people even in the establishment. Like I see that more now than I ever did. Why do you all feel like there is a shortage of staff? Register for the Time to Equip Farmers Workshop. Friday, March 15th, 2024, from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Held at the Farmer's Hands Market, located at the Jackson Medical Mall. To register, scan the QR code. A lot of people took the chance on owning their own business. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Come on with it. Everybody, man. everybody got that in their head. Okay, yeah. now I can run my own business because this store they mm. were advertising, promoting that big time. PPP loan. But there we go. I, I just didn't want to answer. I wanted to open, open the floor to you all. Everybody could not run a business. No, no everybody man. can't run no business. Yeah, they, everybody can't. And also on top of that, what happened with the Demic uh, OnlyFans popped up. You had these things where people had these ideas that they could become rich. That's right. Online. At home. And everybody had the same idea. At home. <laughs> and, the so, build, and the build on what two was saying, you know, the thing about that was when a lot of online business pick up and took off, a lot of brick and mortar stores started closing up. Yeah. And then yep. every, everything started shifting to online yep. purchasing instead of going into a store. And purchasing something, so the company started closing up a lot of a, a lot of these stores and stuff like that. Yeah. So because of the online. So with having access to those PP loans, um, why would I feel the need to go back and work for someone? And else. work for someone, definitely not getting paid my work, getting paid less. Yeah. I want to work for self. That's right. But, and, mm-hmm. and and make it happen, like he said, everybody can uh, be a CEO right. or. Um, be over their own job. Yeah. But some people are gonna see that and right. they may have to go back into these stores. Mm-hmm. That's right. Or, or elsewhere. But, but the PP loans gave a lot of people opportunities to say, hey, I don't have to go back and work for minimum wage. That's right. Yeah, they did. But you speaking on the minimum wage, jobs that were paying seven, eight, nine dollars an hour are now paying 16, 17, 18 dollars. That's hour. right. Yeah. That's right. And you would have thought that would uh, uh, help increase the employees to come on in. You thought it would. They're still not really the men. Nope. Yeah. Nah, because they're they're not coming in to stay. 
Their plan is to come in and get this money, go get a camera, and try and to get online and, and try, try to, to make do, some money. That's right. Like that's 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 the that's the the American dream has become working from home, working for yourself. They got hope now. It gave right. them hope. Right. Like that's, that's and they gonna try. Of course they are gonna try, and that's gonna that's gonna keep some businesses constantly going. You know what I'm saying? But some businesses gonna suffer from it. Like everybody wants to work on computers. Everybody's going into. I got. Two daughters right now that's going into computer engineering. So like nobody wants to do physical things with people anymore. They rather deal with the computer. That's right. Since it seemed like because they're acting now like C nineteen just just fell off the face of the earth like it's never happened now. It's almost like back to normal. You think? And, and you think? According, according mm -hmm. to the media, mm -hmm. we all know it's still here. But according mm -hmm. to, to the media, because yeah. the media is not saying anything about it much. You know, back when it was going on, they had the tickers across the screen and all that. You don't, you don't see any of that no more. But my question no. is, do you think that the independent that, that the independent businesses boom that started during that time, do you all think it's leveled off? I no, think it's, it's leveled off. It's like a C. It's like up and down. It's up and down because, you know, uh, some people is, is going to be organized with their business. The and, and some people going to fall off. Mm -hmm. So it's going to. One way that the bank grows is if somebody don't pay their loan back. Yeah, so they gonna give you so a chance. So you, you just have some, some business is a chance. We figured it's, that out a long time ago. Like, exactly. it's, it's, it's a chance, it's but a it's chance. a chance that you, that you have a, an ability to affect depending on how hard and how constant you stay in. Right. Great topic. I just don't wanna end. <laughs> I just don't wanna end. Flying, but we must flying, roll on boom. to the next to great topic. All right. right. Join us for the Sustainable Farming Institute workshop series, Saturday, March 16th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Farmer's Pans Market, located at the Jackson Medical Mall. Register at the website or scan the QR code 